Again, hello everyone and welcome to this webinar about the LS Kitchen Display System, also known as the KDS, where I will talk about how it can be used to improve your quality and service in your restaurants. My name is Gunnar Thorstensson and I am the product owner for the LS Hospitality product in LS NEV. Let's go over some practical issues about the webinar. Please ask questions by typing them into the question window which you can find in the control panel of the GoToWebinar session. We will have a Q&A session in, at, in the end of the webinar where I will answer your questions. And please also note that the session is being recorded and you will receive a link to the session in a few days. As announced, our yearly main conference called Connection will not take place in the usual shape and form in 2018. Instead, we intend to bring you to you the value of connection throughout the year. And we are happy to offer this webinar to you as a part of Connection Online and urge you to stay tuned for more trainings and materials. The LSKDS is an advanced production system that is flexible in its configuration and supports multiple processes in the kitchen. The system helps restaurant operators to communicate from the front of house into the kitchen and back, and it is a fast and effective through the POS system. The waiters can send the order kitchen order tickets or cots with items and modifiers to the KDS to ensure that they are prepared correctly for the customer at the right time. It is extremely important for busy restaurants with table service to have a fast and effective communication with the kitchen. The less time waiters have to spend on going into the kitchen and follow up on orders for the tables, interrupting the chefs, the more time they have to serve their customers. The dining table management process is supported in many ways, such as enabling synchronized cooking at the display stations, and this is done by setting cooking times on items or recipes in LSNV, and when these are then sent to the KDS, the items that have the longest cooking time are highlighted, informing the chefs that they should start cooking that item, but wait with other items that are not yet highlighted. When other items in the kitchen order ticket are to be started, they become highlighted as well. And I will show this in more detail in our demo later in the webinar. Think of a kitchen order ticket as one or more tickets per transaction. So in the dining table management, the table will have multiple cuts to control the flow of different courses during dining. And the LSNV POS system allows the waiter to be in control of this by sending men different menu types to the kitchen, such as beverages separately, or the starters, mains, or desserts, so he can control the serving for the table through multiple cuts. And the waiter can at any time see the status in, uh, in the kitchen on a cut overview screen on the POS as the NAV application server is pulling the status from the kitchen service for this. So here you have a demo of a restaurant setup for, the, for dining table management. So we have a restaurant which could be downstairs section or something, and it's sending orders to the kitchen service. And the kitchen service will route items through to different kitchen displays, and uh, some of the displays can have various kitchen stations. So in this case you have one kitchen station which is the grill where you may have the steaks and such. You have another kitchen sta display station, the coals which is the salad. You can have the third kitchen display station which is the bar which may be a printer. And when all of the items, all of the stations are done, they will send uh, information to the expediter so that the server knows when the items are ready and he can serve the items to the table. The quick service process is usually over the counter, dine in and take out, and drive through. This can be accomplished by setting up different hospitality types uh, for routing or different terminal routing on the kitchen display stations. Uh, we usually set up the POS to send to KDS upon payment in quick service, so all items are together in one kitchen order ticket. If the POS sends continuous updates to the same kitchen order kitchen, 
order ticket while the staff is taking the order in a conversational manner. We support setting display stations to only allow bumping when order has been paid. This is to prevent the kitchen staff bumping the items until the transaction has been completed by the customer, ensuring no more modifications are made. Bumping is a term for clearing out the item on a display station when it's ready. We also have a customer facing display which shows which orders are ready on a screen facing the customer when bumped from an expediter. So this is a pretty complex picture showing the quick service restaurant, one possibility to, to model it. So you have the dine-in and take-out POSs, which are the green POSs in the bottom. And then you have the drive-through POSs uh, to the left, which are the yellow ones. One could be like the order-taking POS, and uh, the second one could be the payment POS, where you also deliver the food. So the green POSs, they're basically sending, all of the POSs are sending orders to the kitchen service. And the green POSs will send items to the green kitchen stations. So only the green POSs will be shown on the green kitchen displays. But then you can have different hospitality types, one for dine-in and one for takeout. And you can decide that, uh, for example, on the grill, you will only see the dine-in and takeout orders but on the Expediter 1 here, you will only see the takeout orders, while the dine-in orders, they could go to Expediter 2. And the drive-through POSs, they will show uh, drive-through orders for the grill in a different kitchen station, but on the same physical screen, which is the, which is the grill screen. So in this case, you have one kitchen display computer uh, hosting, having three physical screens but showing five different kitchen stations. If you're using the LSNV Hospitality Call Center to receive orders, then these orders are automatically sent to the KDS system in the respective restaurant. And drivers are assigned to trips, and they can have an overview of the status in the kitchen so that they can take off when all of the orders within the trip are ready. And as you can see, uh, if you have an online website or uh, a call center where you can phone in, these orders can be routed to the, to the store database and they are directly sent to the kitchen service as well. So we also have some examples of a food court with only one LSKDS system for many restaurants as long as they are in the same company in NAV. In this case, you can have multiple restaurants sending orders to just one kitchen service, and then either have separate display station for each restaurant, or even have some display stations shared by two restaurants. So this can save you resources and material in that case. So in this case, you have two restaurants with different POSs, and they were both sent to the same kitchen service, and then restaurant one is sending to the kitchen display server display with for restaurant one, and the, maybe they share the expediter, and which is showing both from restaurant one and restaurant two, and then restaurant two is uh, uh, on a different kitchen display station. So these were some of the core processes that we do support, but if you take a look at some of the components that we have in the system, so the kitchen service is the core uh, of the system, and it's the heart of the KDS, which manages the business logic and communicates with the POS and the kitchen stations. It is a Windows service, which usually runs on the same computer as the KDS database, which contains the KDS configuration and logs. This database is, uh, is a separate database, which runs on SQL Express. The LS1 Site Manager is used to set up and configure the kitchen display system, such as functional behavior, look and feel, and kitchen station setup. It is an external component to NAV, but we are currently working on deprecating this, which I will go more into detail in the next slide. And then you have the display stations, which are interactive, 
And you can either have touch screens with a button panel on them, or you can also connect a bump bar to the displays. Bump bars are simply keyboard devices which return a keyboard character which is set up in the configuration of the system where the character is mapped to a specific operation. As I said in my previous slide, we are in the process of deprecating the LS1 site manager in a hospitality system. And there are various reasons for this, such as the LS1 site manager has a different user experience for setting things up than you have in LS NV. So users who are used to work there are not familiar with uh, the site manager. By moving this con configuration into NV, we are simplifying the configuration and uh, less training is needed for users. The KDS database required one more extra database in the restaurant to maintain. So by moving the configuration tables into NAV, we are utilizing the existing database, again simplifying things from an opera operational standpoint. Uh, the kitchen stations, they can either be display stations, which, can, which are interactive, basically means that if you send some items to the display stations, you're able to bump the items, letting the kitchen service know where you are in the flow. Or you can also set up printers, and printers are uh, basically just one-way communication. And you can do a combination of both. So you can have uh, a printer at the bar or the coffee station, while you have displays in the kitchen. So display stations in the KDS are like logical stations, so you can have up to four display stations on one physical screen, and you can have multiple physical screens on one kitchen display computer. So in that way, the system that scales out as much as you need, and you can add as many kitchen, sta kitchen station computers as you need in your environment, so it can be uh, quite big and, and support uh, very big restaurant setups. Uh, we have three types of display stations. We have the preparation station, the line and uh, expediters, and uh, customer facing display stations. And here is an example of one machine running four display stations in one physical screen. So the displays are typical for a quick service restaurant setup, and we do not have synchronized timing of items here. And all of the items have a button panel set up, but usually in a physical environment, operators have a bump bar attached to the computer. And it is possible to have multiple bump bars connected to one computer. So if you have four display stations, you can easily have four bump bars as well. In the upper left corner, we have a bar station, which is a preparation uh, display station uh, set up as a line display. And you can see the different lines that you have some styles set up, time styles, where the, uh, uh, when the orders arrive at the bar, they have a style which is with the white background, so everything is like red, uh, okay with this and we are not overdue. And you can set like a warning uh, time after two minutes or five minutes or whatever, which signals that, yes, uh, this has been resting unattended for some time, and if it becomes red, we are getting really delayed with that order. So in this way, you communicate to the, to the kitchen that uh, uh, when they have to speed, up, speed things up. In the lower left corner, there's a broiler station, which is also a preparation display, set up as a chit. So you can uh, either have it line, as a line display or a chit display. So as you can see here, on the bar we have the beverages, and on the broiler we only have uh, the burgers or the items that are routed to the broiler. Both the bar and the broiler, they are set up with the expediter as the next screen which basically means that on the expediter display, it's usually also a chit display, showing the full uh, number of items in the order. So this order here, A259, 
it has um, the cola regular and the, the chicken burger meal. And we can tell that uh, whenever, when, whenever all of the items are ready, we will bump from the expediter. And in this case, we have a ready order display or the customer facing display in the lower right corner. And then it will show with the number of the order that it has been ready. So then the customers can come and claim their meal. This is another example of the machine running four display stations on one physical screen. And the displays here are typical dining table management restaurant setup where we have synchronized timing of items. So here we have the cold station in the upper left corner, the grill station in the lower left corner. And what you can notice here is that here you can see the synchronized timing that uh, the tenderloin that you see here, it started cooking, you should start cooking that, so it's highlighted, while there's another tenderloin within the same table that is not highlighted. And the reason for that is that the first tenderloin has a time modifier saying that it has to be cooked medium well. And uh, it will add one minute to the default cooking time while the second tenderloin is medium rare, so it will have two minutes less cooking time than the medium well. So with all these modifiers sent into the kitchen, we are more, we will serve our customers with the, the right items at the right time. Uh, and then we have in the lower right corner, we have the pickup station, which is also containing uh, all the items within the order. And uh, I will show you the next screen. So this is the same display a couple of minutes later. So what's happened in between is that we have been bumping some of the items from, from, from uh, some of the screens. So you will notice that uh, table 9A, it has become green. And that is because all of the items on all of the preparation stations have been bumped. And it marks that all of this uh, order now for table 9A can be served. You can see table number 10A. So here you will notice that the F here is green and that is because uh, all of the items that are from the fryer station have been cooked for this table. So we can see uh, so this green means that all of the items on the fryer station are completed but we can see that there are still some items on the grill station that is G and the cold station are still left to be cooked. So we still we can tell from this that uh, which stations are still remaining items. So KDS workflows are typically set up with some kitchen stations being preparation stations, which can either be in a chain of preparation stations or point directly to an, to an expertizer station and to a customer facing display if you have one. So in this case, you can set up a broiler, which are where you uh, may have some steaks, but they when they are cooked, you would like to move them over to the assembly station where you assemble the dish. And then from the bar and the salad stations, you will get some other items and they will be ready at the expediter. And if you have a customer facing display, when you bump the uh, chit or the uh, kitchen order ticket from the expediter, it will show up on the ready screen from the customer facing display. Just a short mentioning of how you set up the kitchen display stations in the site manager. So this is the, you set up some settings and then you have some profiles uh, where you can set the functional profile which dictates which operations you can have on the display. You set up the visual profile if you want to have a, a, a button panel or not and the style profile. I will go more into detail on this in the demo. So what we are working on for the uh, when we when moving the uh, 
kitchen display configuration into NAV and deprecating the site manager, we are just we are also making some improvements to the system. So one of the things that we are doing is we are simplifying the visual profile setup so that it's easier to set up. Uh, it was quite cumbersome in the LS1 site manager to set up the different style profiles and uh, changing them in a quick and easy manner. This is being greatly simplified uh, in, in NAV. And we're also adding a new display profile. And this allows us to uh, change the setup of uh, the line displays or the chits so that we can configure which uh, details or, or which data goes into which column and how big they are and which columns are shown and which uh, fields are shown on the chits so we can have uh, multiple rows on the header of the chit and we can quite narrowly di uh, dictate how these should look like. So I want to move into the demo. So change here to my So here you can see my displays and uh, as you can see we have uh, the fryer, the cold, the grill, the pickup. So I'll just start by showing how you change the, the physical the setups. So this is the LS1 site manager. So you have the display stations and when you go into the cold display station or the let's go to the prior. And you will know that uh, notice that we have some profile settings and then you have some settings for the screen. If it's to be right top on which screen of the computer it should be, uh, if it should be a line display or a chip display and where it routes to after it's being bumped. So this is like the workflow. And here you see the display letter that is shown on the expediter station to, uh, to communicate if if uh, all the items are ready on this display. So just show you how easy it is to change some of the styles. So what I'll do here, I'll go into my style profile. I will edit my, my order and uh, I will go and change my order pane. So as you can see, we have the fryer. It doesn't show very well with a white font on a gray background. So I'll just change my text color to, let's say, red. Say OK, and I will, I will save this. And then the only thing you have to do for this to, uh, to, to be shown on the display station is that you have to restart the service. So I have a command for that here. So I'll restart my kitchen service. So you will notice how the screens, they will become black for like uh, one or two minutes or unresponsive. And when they are back on online, you will see how the, how the fryer and the grill have changed the font. So it's quite easy to change the layout and the, uh, and the look and feel of the kitchen display system. Mm -hmm. And you can see here that the, the pickup and the cold station, they have different style profiles than the fryer and the grill. So let's go into the POS. So here I have a restaurant with a table management. So I'll go in and I will order some food for that table. So open my table. And we start by ordering some drinks. And I can uh, then I can send this to the kitchen. So I'll let me just show you. So I'll also have the food, the chicken, and the broccoli chicken, and the steak tenderloin. So here you can see that I have a medium rare. And if I order also a well done. And now when I send to the kitchen, I can decide if I want to uh, send all of my items or just the beverages. I can send the beverages. I can hold the items if I want to from the POS, but I'm just sending them right away. And then I can send 
uh, all my main courses. And these are my main courses here. So now they are gone and sent to the kitchen. And as you can see, we have uh, we have the cold station and the grill station. They have started cooking the first tenderloin, which is well done. And uh, I have an overview of that. And the chicken with brown sauce. Uh, and I can see all the uh, item modifiers, what I should serve on uh, this table, 14B. And uh, let's say that I will bump all from the cold station here, even though it's not ready to cook yet. And you will notice how the C here became uh, became green. And in a few minutes of time, you will notice how the tenderloin here, medium rare, will also be highlighted. But unfortunately, I I selected medium rare, so it will take a, there are probably three minutes difference here. So, just discuss a little bit about the future. And I would like to share some of the thoughts we have on improving our KDS in the future. But I want to emphasize that there are still, uh, these are just, still, uh, just some ideas and a plan, and we reserve the right to change the order in of these and add some others to the list as we deem necessary. So the one thing that we want to work on is uh, that you have to note that the currently the kitchen printing analysis and the hospitality is managed from the POS, not the kitchen service. But we have plans in the future to let the POS only communicate with the kitchen server for all the kitchen service uh, related things, which will then manage both the printers and the display. And this is to just to simplify our overall business logic with the kitchen dish service. But this will also allow us to add a printing profile to the LSNAV configuration, where you will be able to create printing layouts and assign them to different printing stations. As with the display stations, you can have one physical printer with multiple printing stations. So you can have one printer, physical printer, which will be printing out a ticket for the bar, a ticket for the grill, and another ticket for the expediter. And maybe you don't want the tickets to look exactly the same for all the stations. So with the printing profile, you would be able to uh, create like a bar printing profile, a grill printing profile, or preparation station profile, and then an expediter profile. Uh, another thing we would like to look at in the future is to send continuously to the KDS for the uh, conversational order uh, taking. And this is uh, in a typical quick service. As you take down the order, you're adding modifiers and you're changing items. Uh, we would like to send this immediately to the kitchen so that uh, the staff can start preparing the food to speed up the service. And by having the continuous sending to the, the, the uh, to the kitchen, we facilitate that. Uh, another thing that we are looking into is that we want to group by items on prep stations, which would enable operators to group items together on a line display station, such as bar or a coffee station. So let's say that you have uh, ten tables and um, five of them are ordering some beers, uh, and coffees. But like it is today on the kitchen display station, you would have table 10 ordering beer and coffee, table 9 ordering beer and coffee. And in this way, you have like uh, the beer and coffees uh, mixed together in the line display. What we want to do is create some kind of a group by items so that you can see that, yes, I have to serve five beers and five coffees. And then you will see below which tables uh, they are assigned to. And in this way, uh, you can like uh, serve. Uh, you, it's much quicker to serve like five beers at a time than just one beer, one coffee, one beer, one coffee, etc. And uh, another thing that we're thinking about is adding an aggregation 
ticker or panel to displays which will show how many items of a, that are configured in NAV that are like uh, grouped in that kitchen display station. So as you may have noticed that we had like uh, maybe four burgers and they are all having french fries. Maybe we would like to see that we have like uh, 10 portions of french fries uh, on all the tickets in the display station. So this, was help, this, was, this would help us uh, going to the fryer station and just pick up the five french fries. Then I just hope that you have gained a little bit better understanding of our kitchen display system and that you can see how it can uh, benefit your business and make life, life easier, simpler, faster. And if you have any further questions or comments, then please don't hesitate to send, them, send me a note and I'll get back to you. As I mentioned before, you will receive the recording in a few days. So thank you very much for your attendance and time and have a good day.